reiterate what Captain Deep said. Due to forecasted adverse weather conditions, a very strong winds in North Seas and winter weather along the Norwegian Jam planned itinerary. The vessel will delay departure from New York. Currently, the vessel's revised estimated time of the departure from New York is tomorrow, the 23rd of December, at 5 p.m. instead of today at 4 p.m. With this updated estimated time of departure from New York City, the call to Porta Plata is cancelled and the ship will sail directly to San Juan with adjusted port of call timing. <sighs> so, the JM Travels. My name is Jason Motley. We're off to a great start. So I'm on a 12 night holiday cruise out of New York City on a Norwegian gem. You may have already heard, we're stuck here for an extra day due to the weather. Uh, bit of a bummer. But uh, the good news is, we're stuck in New York City. So, we're allowed to get off the ship, check things out. Let's go do that. So yeah, two extra days in New York. Missed two ports of call, Dominican Republic and San Juan. We 
received $100 on board credit per cabin. Not sure if that's enough, but there it is. Look, I understand the delay, but it is a pretty upsetting start to the cruise. So, it is Christmas Eve on a Norwegian gem. Launched in 2007, we've averaged in 2015. And we begin the ship tour with the casino. Next is the Stardust Theater. Not a bad space. The walkthrough is nice. Inside could be a little better in my opinion, but it is somewhat of an older ship. You have the gym and spa on deck 12. Midship between deck six and seven is this sitting area. On deck six, there's a specialty restaurant called the Bistro. Also on deck six is a beer and whiskey bar. Christmas Eve turned into Christmas Day, and there was no holiday entertainment. No Santa, nothing. Just a pool full of people. But it is still Christmas. Can't let it get me down. Anyway, still more time to check out more of the ship.
as day turned into evening, the holiday finally decided to show up. Two days later, we finally hit our first port of call. Always good being back in the Caribbean. No excursion planned, but definitely getting off the ship. Before getting off the ship, I'm going to tour a little more. Walking through the hallway to the right is a library. There's also a game room. And a photo studio. Off the ship, just went for a walk. Nice warm weather, beautiful breeze, wonderful sights. Stop for lunch. Always find myself here because of the Wi Fi. It's good for work. Happy hour's not bad either. As of right now, I'm okay. I'll probably get some later though. Don't worry, man. Cool. I did get some food, fish tacos. They weren't bad. Short day in St. Thomas, but a good one. Cleared my head. Looking forward to the next port. Back in St. Martin, again no plans, just winging it. Thought about hitting a new beach, but the last time I was there it was disastrous. And that clearly stayed with me. Maho's never let me down, so that's where I went.
Not a bad day in St. Martin. Little rainy. That comes and goes. On to the next one. So in Antigua, almost everything is closed during the holidays, except for the port. So I took my time getting off the ship. The cruise is getting better. Still a little bummed about Christmas, but it is in the past. All right, so I stink at this. At least I got one. Anyway, continue with the tour on deck eight, Oceans, Irish pub, 24 hour food spot. Down on deck seven is the main atrium. Now there's a few important things that are down here. Of course you have guest services. An area called Tides, it's like a jewelry store. The next cruise and shore excursion desk. And a Starbucks. The Spinnaker Lounge is probably the nicest area on the ship in my opinion. I like the windows, 180 degree view. Nice looking bar too. It's been a while since I've been here. How much has changed in the main area? If you walk off the ship and walk all the way towards the right, there's a small village, which is nice. Small shops and restaurants, even a hemp store. Walking back towards the ship, I decided to stop at this little rum bar. Not a bad place. Not the best looking bar, but stocked. Got myself a rum punch and just relaxed, taking in the views.
Tortola, our final protocol. Before I get off the ship, a little bit more of the tour. This is Bliss, the nightclub. Some more restaurants. This is Orchid Garden, which is included in your cruise. And Teppanyaki, which is not included in your cruise. Off the ship, nice day. Although there was a threat of rain, which then became real. Quick shower, no worry. But I did actually plan an excursion on this island. It's called Tortola Land and Sea. And the sea parks first. The tour was nice so far. He gave us some rum punch. You pour your poison. You just set your own goals. Your own goals. Yeah. How much rum can we drink? How how fast are you gonna get off of here? Exactly. Who's next? You don't know. The sea part of the tour was very nice, awesome views. The marina we stopped at is very nice too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. You're just the same as last. Last time, last time, the same. 
On to the land part of our excursion. Didn't start off well. Once the rain ended, we got some more beautiful views of the island. We made a few stops. One was at this lookout point. Excellent day. Put me in a great mood to celebrate the new year. Well, that's the end of this cruise. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.
Final part of the ship tour, there are two steakhouses. There's Cagney's, the American style steakhouse. And Moderno Cherescaria, Brazilian style, with a slice of meat in front of you. Both specialty restaurants. Once again, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. And I'll see you on the next one.